What's up everybody, Patrick here, moving on to another question. So if x minus two is a factor of two x cubed plus px squared minus 10x minus 24, what is the value of p? So we're solving for this constant here in this polynomial. So how can we go about doing this? Well, we can use factor theorem because we're told that x minus two is a factor. And just to do a quick little review, what does factor theorem say? It basically says generally if x minus k is a factor of a polynomial uh, f of x, then that means f of k is equal to 0. Right? Sort of, uh, we can also use maybe the remainder theorem because we know with the remainder theorem that if you're dividing by x minus k, some kind of polynomial, the remainder is always going to be f of k, whatever that number is. But if it's a factor, the remainder is always going to be zero. So that's how the uh, factor theorem is derived. It's actually like the next step after the remainder theorem. But you can go over these theorems in the lecture videos. If you don't remember them, make sure you review them because they'll be coming up on your test for sure. So uh, applying this uh, theorem to our specific scenario, so notice that x minus 2 is a factor. So then what's our k value in this case? Well, x minus k, x minus 2, that means the k value is 2. And that means that if we label this polynomial here as f of x, that means that f of 2 is going to equal 0. All right, so let's do this up here. So f of x is 2x cubed plus px squared minus 10x minus 24. So that means that f of 2 is equal to 0 since x minus 2 is a factor. So the way we could set up this equation is we can have 0 for the y value and then we can plug in 2 for all of the x values. And when we do that, notice how we are only left now with this variable p to solve for. The rest are just numbers. So we got 0 equals 2 to the power of 3 is 8 times 2 is 16 plus 2 to the power of 2 is 4 times p is 4p. Negative 10 times 2 is negative 20 and then negative 24 stays as is. So to solve for this p value, what we'll do is we'll keep the 4p on the right side and then we'll bring all the constants over to the left side. So bringing this negative 24 over, negative 20 over, and positive 16 over, we'll end up with 24 plus 20 minus 16 equals 4p. 24 plus 20 gives us 44. Minus 16, that would give us 28 on the left side. And then we'll still be left with 4p on the right side. So to isolate for that p, would we uh, divide both sides by 4. And when we do that, we end up getting a p value of 7. And that is our final answer. And then if you have time, you can check this final answer. What you can do is you could take that 7, plug it into that original uh, polynomial that you're given, and then you can check if this works. So then you could plug in 2 for all the x values with that 7 there for p and then see if you get zero for the y value. And you should, because x minus two is a factor. So according to the factor theorem, f of two should equal zero, and um, it does so when that p value is seven.